Hello and welcome to GeoOp on the iPad video 4. Uh, this is our final video and we'll be looking at adding time or labour and parts to a job. As you can see I've got my jobs list in front of me here and I'm going to access a job by clicking on it and then in the uh, job details panel here you've got uh, other tab options at the top of this panel, status, charges and notes. We looked at status and notes in previous videos, for now I'm going to click on charges. Now clicking on charges gives us a charge items list. Um, on the left of each item here you can see a icon. This icon is in grey and it indicates that it is a quoted item. Now quoting is something that will be enabled by your administrator if it's suitable to your business purpose. Uh, if I want to add a new item I will just click on the plus icon at the top left there and then click parts labour. You can add either by switching between these two buttons here and the options that you have available, um, rate, hours, unit, further down you have a description field and you can add a detachment as per previous videos. Uh, again you can swap between quote and actual um, if that's enabled and you can define whether it's to go to invoice or not. Now to add a particular rate I simply click on the line and I'll have a predefined list that's been set up by the administrator um, for staff rates that are particular to me. Um, so I'll select standard rate and let's say let's have four hours of that. Then you click back to parts and labour on the top left here and that'll be saved onto your charges items list. At the top I'll just quickly go through and add some parts also. Very similar process if I click on the magnifying glass there I can choose one off the list. I'll have one of those and I'll have two of those. You can select as many as you like in here so you don't have to keep on going in and out. And then I click back to parts and labour and that'll add that into the list again. Now if I want to record actuals against a particular item I can simply click on the quoted item. It'll bring up the item in isolation then I can click the plus icon again into the quantity field. It says on the top right of the screen here I did four hours, but in actuality I did five. And I'll click done there, and that'll add that in. And then back on our charges list, you can see that that actual total is highlighted in red. Um, if I want to send a quote uh, to a client of the quotes item that I've added, I can click on the mail icon in the top right of the screen and then simply select quote, and then the next uh, option will be to send it via email uh, to myself or to the client. And that's uh, Time and Parts in GeoOp. Uh, thank you very much for your time and please visit help.geoop.com for more resources or to contact us.